Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. It's a sea of silhouette and with a silhouette scene that I have stamped onto here. The papers in this suite are just divine. Absolutely beautiful. How gorgeous are those? I'm going to show you each side. They are just incredible. Aren't they beautiful? And with the first one, I could just, or with the sample that I made, I could just see it as being a thundery day, um, but a couple just safe under their umbrella. Doesn't matter about the thundery day. So I'm going to do a very similar version of it. I'm going to use the same stamp set, but different coloured paper. So you need a piece of cardstock that measures eight by 10 and a half inches, 20 by 27 centimetres. And this one is Blackberry Bliss. So I went with Pacific Point on the first one. Oh, something stuck on my, my scoring tool. So, uh, but yeah, Blackberry Bliss. On the long side, score it every two and a half inches at two and a half, five, seven and a half, and ten, which in metric is six and a half, thirteen, nineteen and a half, twenty-five. Turn it round and score it at two, five and a half which is uh, five, 13 and a half centimetres. Turn it over and score it at seven and a half, which is 19 centimetres. Okay, and come back to the way you were originally. So you've got all these lines in this thin one and score down only to the first line at one and a quarter inches and six and a quarter, which in metric is three and a quarter and 16 and a quarter centimetres. I'm going to pop that out of the way, turn the end of my take your pick tool over and what I'm going to do now is go from that line that I've scored down to there and there, there and there. So you need a steel ruler for this or a ruler that's not going to buckle. And do it on both of them. like that. Okay, so I'm going to burnish my score lines. The one where you turned the paper over, that goes the other way and that's going to be the top of the milk carton. And don't worry about the diagonal lines, they will pull themselves into place as you close up your box. Black Rupus is such a lovely colour, isn't it? Okay, so I'm going to trim a couple of pieces up at the top, just trim a little off there, and then take out the little rectangle, and then cut straight up these lines here. Okay, so I'm going to put that to one side, because I do want to put the DSP on before I close it up and what I've got here is I've got two pieces that are two and a quarter inches by one and three quarters so that's six by five and a half centimeters there for the top there and then four pieces that go all the way round they are two and a quarter by three and a quarter and I've got four of those now what I want to do is choose one of them that I'm going to stamp on so you need one that hasn't got too much dark on it as you can see here because you want to see your silhouette Huh. And I think I'm going to go with that one. Okay, so I'm going to get my stamp rotors and my stamp set. And I don't think I need any of those, do I? Huh. Silly me, because this is red rubber. Okay, so I want to fit that in there come down and pick it up and I'm going to go with stays on which I better to have two of them and with me I like to twist first and then tap 
And the reason I'm using my Stamparatus is that it might not be black enough and dark enough. I might want to come in again. Which I do on the edge there and her foot. God, that's a pungent smell. Stays on. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift it up very slightly. Um, just use this. So I'm pushing on her feet and that edge of the umbrella. And that is a very, very rich black. So pop that out and put that to one side. So now to decide which one it's going on. So this one here is the back. And obviously where we've got the triangular lines, that's the side. So this is the front, which means this one has to go. On there. So I'm going to get this one in place first. And now it doesn't matter where I put the rest. As long as you've got the front, the first one, the stamped one in place. You could go all the way around actually. All the other silhouette images um, are fantastic. So you could go all the way around your box. I'm just going with the one because I didn't think about it until right this second when I said it. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, last one in place. So they're all on. Isn't that just amazing? So this one I did it with memento and it's not as rich and dark as stays on i'm so instinctive to use memento these days though because i do a lot of blends work and using my watercolor pencils that i just picked it up without even thinking and then went mm, as it dried and I thought, mm, it should have been stays on okay so two sides in and the back There we go, so that's the front. And then you just push together and those scored lines that we made have naturally formed into position. I've got one of these little teeny tiny binder clips. Um, they are properly tiny, but you can just about get them over all these layers of cardstock. There we go. I didn't want anything to detract away from that stamped image. Love it. Oh, and in eight minutes as well. Anyway, what do you think? Isn't this, isn't this sweet gorgeous? Um, here's the whole suite. There is the shimmer emboss powder coming. Unfortunately, it's stuck in customs at the moment. Can't wait to get hold of that. But that's where the little mini library clips come from. Just divine. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you soon. Bye.